Welcome to the Clark Middle School Art Room. Here's your tour of the art room. This is the goddess of space. Notice the pink line? Don't cross the pink line. And this pink line here? Don't cross the pink line. Now, I also have a class pet. Her name is Charlie. Hi, Char Char. Hi, Char Char. Now, never reach into the cage without asking first. I'm telling you, she will, she will bite you if, if she doesn't know you. She nibbles just a little bit to see if she might like you. Come here, Charlie. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Oh. All right, Charlie's going to go for a ride with us. OK, should you ever pass through here to get to your desk? No. No, you, you should really not do that. See, this is a, a private zone here. None shall pass. OK, this is my pinky chair, also in the pinky zone. You may not sit in the pinky chair. On rare occasions, I will let someone sit in the pinky chair, but you may never ask. And all of my toys up here, mm, don't touch my toys. Chalkboard, dry erase board, lined paper, scratch paper, think sheets. Here's the nurse's pass. Here are extra magnets for the whiteboard. Here's our schedule, and we will clean up 10 minutes before the bell rings. So first hour cleans up at 8.51. The dog on my alarm over there, it will bark. And when that dog barks, you may not ask me a question. Don't say, hey, how's this look, Miss Littlefinger? Hey, can you help me with this? No, sorry, it is time to clean up. So then when the bell rings at 9.01, we have a procedure for exiting the room. This is my hall pass. Notice it says, always wash the pickle. Always wash the pickle. It's disgusting, y'all. Wash the hall pass. The reminder here, have your agenda filled out and a pen ready for me to sign your agenda. When you are in the art room or anywhere else in the school, do not jump up to hit my little signs and things. Those are, consider those artwork. Don't touch those. All right, in my classroom, instead of saying hello and goodbye, we say love. When you enter my classroom, there's a note here that says, you must have to enter wooden pencil, sharpener, eraser, have those daily. If you touch that and try to take those away, oh, serious consequences, he won't like it. If you forget a book in my room, I will put it here. Dude, is this your stuff? Okay, the counters here, we use these for hot glue guns and projects. This is not a space for your binders. No binders here. Tissues are hot glued to the wall. Uh, the sink. The sink is not for us to go wash our hands in. There's way too many of us to wash our hands in the sink. So we will use our table cubbies. Right, Charlie? Yes, Miss Littlefinger, we use a table cubby. So at your table, in the middle is your trash can. And down here, you have a container that's color-coded for your table. You may use one full container per class period. So if you use more than one full container, then you're not going to be able to go to the sink to fill that up. All right, and your cubbies. We need to make sure that we keep things organized. Charlie thinks she might like to check it out. Keep it organized so that the next class can find their materials. So in the top, this is hand soap. And Please don't use the hand soap to wash the table. This is cleaning solution for the table. You got sponges, cups, and this is your sink. So when you are ready to wash your hands, you're going to set it up like this. You're going to pour your water in this container here to wash your hands. Now I do have some containers that you can sit on top and has a spigot, so it's like a little sink. Okay, in the top drawer are paint shirts. You need to make sure that you roll the paint shirts up tight, otherwise they will not fit in there. And try to keep the paint shirts, don't trade paint shirts with another table. These are for your table. Notice that it's the blue table and most of these are blue. There's a list here of what should be in each container. So in the bottom drawer you have paper towels. And when you run out of paper towels, this is your color table marker here. So when you run out of paper towels, 
then you leave the empty roll on the desk with this in it, and I will know. Now, <clears throat> we need to not use an entire tree or sapling every time we wash our table. So when you get paper towel out, do not get a sheet longer than from your hand to your shoulder. That is plenty, and don't throw it away until it's completely dry. Doing this, no, dude, no. I'm not even kidding, I will give you a think sheet for that. Okay, you have a paintbrush cleaner, and your paintbrush cleaner, you need to make sure that first your paintbrush is cleaned out, and then this is how you use, this is the paintbrush cleaner after you've rinsed it out with soap and water. Get out of there. I'll give you more details on that later. Tape, notice it's color coded for your table. Scissors, there is a pair of lefties in here. Left, left, left. Um, there's some crayons and some markers, some random pencils in here. Your supplies at your table. We do not use the sink. Now, I do not loan pencils to students. You need to be prepared. I do not loan pencils, erasers, or sharpeners. Okay, over here, this is your, these are your learning targets. So class of 22, uh, 2022, that, this year, that is sixth grade. So your learning targets are on this wall here. This counter here, this is not for your books and binders. No books, no binders, no touch. All this area is for organizing supplies. It's really important that you do not get into anything that I did not give you permission to get into. I need to make sure that everything is organized so it's ready for the next class. So this pink line here, do not cross the pink line. Do not cross the pink line. You may not enter the back room without permission. This is my supply cabinet. You have to have permission from me to go back into that room. If your friends are back there doing something for me and you just go back to talk to them, dude, you just got yourself a think sheet. Not cool. Okay, this area here, this is my area. This is my sink to wash my hands. You guys can fill your containers here, but do not stop to use the soap, the water, or the paper towels. You guys need to use those at your table. Down here is a little first aid kit that basically just has band-aids if you need one. And this is our chart. I'll have a list of people's duties in my classroom. So I'll have somebody in charge of audiobooks, somebody in charge of iPods, somebody in charge of che checking all the table cubbies. This cabinet, paints are up here. Uh, pencil, watercolor pencils and regular color pencils are down here. Again, you may not get anything out without asking permission first. This is where paint brushes go, and I'll have one person in charge of checking paint brushes. So when you turn your paint brushes in, you'll, I'll have one person, and they'll be listed on the chart here, who will take a paper towel and squeeze it. If any color comes out, it is not clean. More colored pencils down here. Let's see. I think that's about it. All right. It's going to be a good year. Right, Charlie? Yes! That was Miss Littlefinger. Good year, Miss Littlefinger. <laughs>